Hello friends, today in this video I am going to hack this watch so that the screen never turns off and this watch will run forever. So basically these type of watches the screen turns off after a few seconds and when we make some interrupt by touching the screen or pressing the home key the watch will turn on again. If we continue the same process again and again then we can make this watch run forever and that is what we are going to do in this video. The simplest way is to use the servo motor but we can also achieve the same thing if we do a little modifications from the inside. Let's get started and don't forget to watch my previous video on Zenon PT module. So this is the watch which I am going to hack. So basically this watch supports a lot of different features but one of my favorite feature is this analog clock which comes in three different designs. In Android phones we have certain options which will prevent the screen from entering sleep mode but unfortunately this watch doesn't support that feature and the screen can stay alive a maximum of 55 seconds so definitely I have to do some modifications here but using a servo motor is a foolish idea in this case so today we will open this watch and see what we can do from inside in order to free the motherboard I removed all the connectors which belongs to the camera and display and I'm very happy to see that each copper dot comes with its description so it's something like this motherboard is inviting us to perform some hack as you can see here uh, here we have bluetooth transmitter and bluetooth receiver and in future we can hack these two devices easily but that is a subject for an another video now as you can see this strip is directly soldered with the motherboard and this is what we are looking for. We have four solder joints. The fourth pin gives 3 volt. When we short 3 and 4 the respective functions of home key will be activated. So the idea is really simple. I will supply external triggering pulse to pin number 3 with the help of triple five timer and this pin 1 and 2 I am not 100% sure it's for volume control and finally I use a transistor and connected pin 4 and pin 3 to their emitter and collector and the base of the transistor is connected with pin 3 of triple five timer I also designed the triple five timer so that will create a pulse every 4.7 seconds initially I had some synchronization issues but finally I figured it out and made everything work fine. The pulse timing of the triple five timer is primarily based on the capacitance of the capacitor and the resistor which we use and you can also try the same in your house. If you fall into some trouble just ask me in the comment section.